Can't believe I've had this game so long, and I never realized I could like set the brake to my e-brake like this, and then, oh, just ignore that. But set the brake to my e-brake. The brake's still my brake, but to make it brake, I have to push it hard like this. And then it actually breaks. But if I push it soft, let me get away from that stupid damn billboard. It's right here. We get an e-brake. Dude, I've, went, I've, I've owned this game for so long. I've played in VR for a year now, pretty much, and I never knew that. I'm in a Supra drift car, Toyota Supra in a freaking drift car, and I have, like, the worst e-brake ever where I can't even really use it. I'm out, I'm gonna have to figure this out. Right now, the e-brake is nothing more than a nuisance to me. If I can figure out how to get it where I can go. Then save it? Yeah, that would be nice. Yep, like that. Just gotta figure it out, you know? Alright, that was horrible. Absolutely horrible drift. Anyway, let's go check out the outskirts. Like I was saying before, this is this is a free map. You didn't have to pay for this on GTA, the GTA 5 map. The developer, he's pretty much took a break and gave up. I'd say gave up at this point. It last update he has March and he is talking about it's too much of a project for him to handle then, so the project has been abandoned, but at least we got the map and it's it's just fun to explore it. So if you do want to check this out, you can go get this off Patreon actually for free. His name's Golf King. I'll put a link if it works. I'll have a link up right now, or I have a link in the description if you want this map. I figured most people in the Soto Corso world already know about it, but hey, maybe you got a VR headset and you look—you didn't even know a Soto Corso was good in VR. Soto Corso is the best in VR, honestly. Unless you got a 40 series and you can run BMMG, I would say this is the best. And I mean, I can't give you any. I can't tell you anything about BMMG because I can't run it. It does not run on my graphics card. No matter what I do, it just will not run. This is so hard. The interiors look good, though. Alright, let's go on back and see the map. There goes some cars again. They, they despawn you after a certain point. I mean, it's a quick drift car. I mean, it should be to have like 600 horsepower. There's the city. Coming up on the city looks good. Yeah, there's nothing I can really do. I didn't have a break. I'm done for. Woohoo! Woohoo! That seems about right. All right, we're on the beach. Let's go. Okay, okay. I'll get used to drifting with the regular brakes sometime. Maybe. It's. I mean, it's, it, it's starting to feel a little better knowing what I'm doing. It would be easier if I just had one. Okay, and then we get to that situation where we do that. Let's just explore, really. Oh, look, that's cool, man. They got the shark on here, the sand shark. Oh, that's really cool they put him up there. I've never seen him look so lifelike in my whole life. There is the shit. What the hell just happened? I'm done. I'm gone. We're up. But anyway, let's get back to our game of exploring. I just... I just think you, if you have a PC, man, you should buy a set of when it goes on sale for like, it goes on sale a lot of times for like three bucks. Look at the city out there. Get some mods and just come play the game. There's more mods than this GTA 5 map. There's a Tokyo map. There's a um, highway map that everybody loves. No Hezzy, I think it's called. Everybody likes getting certified in and stuff. I mean, there's more in this game than you're probably even thinking about. But yeah, dude, a set of course on VR is super fun. I think I'm gonna try No Hezzy next on multiplayer and see how that works. Should work better. This map, this is the only map I've seen run this poorly, and it still runs kinda good. It's just really poor compared to the other ones. It's just such a high demand map. And here's our other part of the beach. We saw the sand shark over there. I wonder if we can come through here and make a trick without wrecking. Nope, we wrecked instantly. Damn, dude. 
I was gonna do a cool trick, but we um we wrecked. We didn't just wreck, we literally put it where it was falling to the ground. Yeah, a month of doing this and I'll be pretty used to it. And then it just takes time of learning, like real life. You ain't just gonna get it overnight. See, I'm still, like right then, I was trying to hit the brake, not the e-brake. Oh! Oh, we're sliding up! Yahoo! Got her. We saved it. Alright. I do want to slot, try to drift a little. No, I didn't get it, sadly. It looks good though. It looks really good. This bridge right here. Woo! Alright, so this is it right here. Just coming across the bridge and looking at everything, it's just so mesmerizing. You have to remember, stuff's not loading in because I don't have the highest end graphics card. If I had like a 4090 or 3090, I could load all that, I'm sure. But the fact I'm running on a 3060 um, Ti or 3060 overclocked edition, it's just kind of like, what the hell? I just almost fell through the ground. It's just kind of like that running on a 3060, but yeah, I mean, it runs fine. I mean, it just, you have to set the rendering a little lower to make the game work out correctly. And it doesn't look bad unless you look at the cities and the mountains i mean for the most part it looks pretty good hey in vr i'm just i'm just glad to be able to play this in vr and enjoy it i feel like this car is so loud the motor in this car oh they got a traffic jam over there let's go check out that traffic jam that is not a road okay yep it's not a road whoa first and second i gotta keep up with my gears here this is so much easier in real life when you can look at a shifter and see where it's at. And we'll slightly drift. Slightly drift. We'll just make a fool of ourselves right in front of everybody. Good thing we're online, people would be like, what the hell is this guy doing? Alright, let's drift down the rich neighborhood. Go last quick. What are they quick for, I wonder? There's Dillard's or DS. I'm not even going to say what it makes me think of. Yo, about to hit that. Um, don't go in that parking garage. It did not look very good. Oh, I wasn't trying that, but it looked really cool. There is the construction site and the motel. Can we go in this one? Son of a... Mm, you saw that. He was about to run into me, I thought. Damn. AI. Ooh, that was so close. The AI is tricking me out here. It's not even... It's not even in the ground. Or on the ground. He's in the ground, that's for sure, but he's not on it. There's a dam up here, I think. Alright, there we go. <laughs> There's a dog in their trunk. Oh, that's underwear. I was like, what? I didn't even think about it. <laughs> Ellen's liquor. There's the city. Smell like a dog. There's the guy with the. It's comic books, but if when you come from this way, that does not look like a comic book and a rod on his hand. It looks like something else. That mirror. You can partly see it in my mirror. switch over here there's a UFO right there that's cool why does it say WTF on it I don't know hey what's up you want to drag race oh they want to race
I win. Mm-hmm. You didn't stand a chance. I'll let him get a head start this time. Woo! Smoked him. You can see my car in the background about to blow up. Alright, let's go to the back roads then. CNT. CNF something. It's probably not CNT. I think CNT is a real company. Uh. Well, you can see my paint come off. Alright. Reverse it around. This dam up here, this is where the dam is. What? This is a post office? I don't remember this. Maybe I do remember this. It just was different to get here or seem different on the game. Get a sunset and coming into my steering wheel. You see that? The shadows. That's cool, man. Shadows are kind of cool in this game, too. I mean, the game looks great. I mean, for a VR, if this was a VR title, people would be like, holy shit. It ain't got to be a VR title. Like I've been saying before, VR and flat screen together is better because then people that don't want to play VR or can't have a choice and can still play the game. Honestly, Half-Life Alex, I think a lot of people wish that game was like that. It's sad that it's just VR and they're trying to make it flat screen. I'm like, I'm like, man, if they should have made that game both. I don't think the tech was out then like it is now. Like with UN, UE4, yeah, the injector stuff with Unreal Engine can now do that. Ah, oh, must had it. That's cool though. I'm getting used to the e-brake now. Oh. All right. The game. PC VR. Something that you should definitely hear about, but you do not. You see it when pro streamers, I call them pro streamers, when big streamers and stuff get involved in this and then get up there, you'll see them like playing stuff like this, but you don't see VR content creators playing this all the time. Man, see the smoke back there? Look at the smoke, I mean, that is crazy. so hard to make second gear brake traction though. I feel like on 600 horsepower Supra rear wheel drive, the traction um, should brake really easy. Like it shouldn't have trouble. Just as it does it in first gear, in second gear it should be, I should be struggling to hold this thing down with my foot to the floor. Just like BMMG, if you actually use their drift cars, you'll struggle to hold the thing down. That's the Hollywood sign. Getting hit by Nerf darts. Now it's becoming a real challenge. I'm getting hit by Nerf missiles on the sun. Oh, jeez. You want to go backwards today? Okay, it's not going backwards. We're stuck. Ah, oh, get out of this hole! Jeez, dude. I wish the I wish he would have worked on the map a little. I feel like it would have took one year, and he could have had this map in a pretty good state. It is like a half-ass state like it is now. I mean, I know it's huge, everything he's done. I know it's a giant uptaking, but just a shame because this is a, one of them maps that I would love to have seen the whole thing perfected and the, every car work on it. It is really annoying to have to load into it a three-minute load time, one to three minutes of loading to get in the game just to figure out your car doesn't work. A lot of cars don't work on this game. Oh my god, that's it. I'm over. That's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of riding and 
maybe learn something, but yeah, gotta say, VR, on PC VR, will blow your mind on games like Assetto Corso. It's just something different, you know, especially with a wheel. This just feels really w real, and that's the cool thing about it. And I mean, you, you've never got the experience like your GTA 5 map in such a good perspective, unless you're in VR, but... Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and later. As my son said, like and subscribe.